Welcome back and thank you for joining me for this video. This is Stephanie uh, and I, I get the biggest kick out of this deck. This is the Trash Panda Tarot. And for those of you who don't know the term, Trash Panda is used to uh, refer to raccoons. So this deck is dedicated to raccoons and the trouble that they get into. Um, as I go through this deck, please do give the video a thumbs up or leave comments below uh, just to help the, the algorithm and help the channel. I would definitely greatly appreciate it. So we'll just go through the, the major arcana here. Well, actually the whole deck, but you know what I mean. I love the fact that the basic poses are similar to uh, the Rider weight. <laughs> Although there are um, definite little funny uh, details on here. I don't even have the words to describe some of them. Oh yeah, get caught on the back of the RV. That's always a nice thing. Um, Wheel of Fortune, of course, would be pizza. <clears throat> Injustice. I know that I, just from my own background, um, at one point, there was a raccoon that was going after, I think, corn or bird seed or squirrel food or something in the garage. And of course, you know, you keep things like that in a metal trash can to try and deter rodents from chewing through and making a mess and so on. Except this little clown had managed to get the lid off the metal trash can and climb in, and then he couldn't get out. Um, the uh, spork is the suit of swords in this deck. So you'll see sporks uh, instead of actual swords. Um, to go back to the, the raccoon story. Yeah, they're wild animals and they are capable of really hurting somebody if you were to uh, try and pick them up and help them out of a potentially sticky situation like being caught in a metal trash can. So I don't even remember. It was one of my family members. It might have been a grandparent. It might have been a cousin. I don't know. Uh, but did a couple of different things for the, the raccoon. But first of all, they just took a two by four and put, you know, set it inside the trash can. So it was kind of propped up against the edge of the trash can, but went all the way to the floor and also dangled the end of just a, an orange extension cord. So we don't know if the raccoon climbed up the extension cord or went up the two by four. Honestly, I could be telling the story completely wrong because it's been 20 years or more. But when I think of raccoons, uh, that's what I think of is getting into places where they don't need to be <laughs> and then getting stuck. In my area here, <clears throat> By the way, I, I just totally sped through the suit of cups. The cups on this, or uh, the wands on this deck are marshmallows on a stick. So roasting marshmallows. So we have sporks for swords. We have marshmallows on a stick for wands. And then we have cans of grape soda for cups. And let me jump ahead. All right, pentacles are multi-sided die, like uh, Dungeons and Dragons type die. I'm sure they're used in other games, but uh, Dungeons and Dragons is the only one that I've, I know that they're in. Although I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, so I don't quite know how that works, but that's okay. Um, by the way, I know that I am flying through these uh, cards rather quickly. If you would like to uh, watch them more slowly, uh, select the gear icon within your YouTube window and you can slow it down to, you know, half speed or three quarters speed, or you can even speed it up uh, to one, one and a quarter, one and a half. I think it goes all the way up to twice the speed. So if you feel like watching some really fast raccoons, you could do that. <laughs> We're almost at the end of uh, this deck. 
As a reminder, I would greatly appreciate it if you'd give the video a thumbs up. These raccoons are adorable. Um, I found this deck on Etsy and I will, if I can find a, a, a YouTube channel for this artist, I will tag the artist in the, the comments below as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the little raccoon story. <laughs> and I look forward to the next time.